All right, we're going to set up our grade book now. And what you're going to do is go to courses. Remember, you can always get to it by clicking up here at the top to courses. And then you're going to find the class that you want. And I'm going to do street law. And when you get here, you're going to look at this left-hand menu, side menu, and you're going to do grade setup. Now, when you get here, you're going to set up your categories. This is so important that you remember to use the same categories that you use in PowerSchool Pro. Um, we're still setting up our PowerSchool Pro, but once we set up both of these grade books, you will never have to go to Pro, and you should not go to Pro. You should always use this grade book to enter a new assignment and to grade it, okay? Because we know for a fact that Schoology will transfer into our Gradebook Pro. We are not sure about the reverse, and parents will be looking at Schoology, and so will students. So please have them both set up the same, but always put everything, um, new assignments and grades, in using your Schoology Gradebook. So just like we had to do in Gradebook Pro, you have to create a category. Even if you know everything's total points and you know it's all classwork or whatever, name it that. Name your category on both of them as classwork, okay? So you're going to add a category. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I always have one that's test. It's always total points, but you can do a percent. Or you can drop the lowest first zero, you know, lowest grade to the lowest grades, things like that. I never do that. And you're going to hit create. Now again, this has to be a same category that is in um, the actual one for um, Gradebook Pro. I'm going to add another one because I also still do classwork. And then I have it as total points. I don't lower anything and I'm going to hit create again. Now this is a high school class. And while all my classes, I weight the categories. So I'm going to check this check mark. And then I am going to do what I normally do. Like it's 60%. And, excuse me, it's the other way around. 40% of your grade comes from classwork. 60% comes from the task. The second part is grading periods and final um, weights. This is not enabled right now. Julie and I think the reason why it's not enabled is because we do not have um, it connected to PowerSchool Pro. Um, we can advise not to do that until we get to next year when we, are, we want them to exchange information. So it is not enabled. But if it was at my high school classes, I would make um, like Q1 equal... Um, as you know, equal 45%, Q2 equal 45%, and E1 equal 10 for my 100%. But right now, it's just going to be stuck at total points, and that's okay. Right now, as far as I know, the final grade setting, we should leave it at numeric. Okay? Um, and you can, and the rest of it, I want you just to look at if it and see if it's anything you're interested in doing in your class. If you have any more questions on this kind of stuff, you and I can look it up and figure out what's best. And then when you're done, you're going to hit Save Changes. Once it's done, I have other classes that will use these categories. I'm going to come up here to go to Copy Settings. Okay. So what do I want it to copy? Do I want it to do the categories, the grading skills, the rubrics? I do. Um, so, um, I can turn around and click all the ones that are going to use this, um, these um, categories and these settings. And I'm going to click on them and then I'm going to say copy. And it is done. And that is all you have to do for that.